YouTube channel. This is a part seven of the video series on Postgres with RibMGR high availability cluster lab setup. Today we are going to set up KeepAlive D2, create a virtual IB for three nodes in order to leverage HA proxy high availability. If you are new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. The information and links I'm going to cover in this video are listed in the description below. With all that being said, let's jump right in. Before we dive into KeepAlive D installation and configuration steps, we are going to have small introduction about what KeepAlive D is. KeepAlive D is an open source software suite designed to provide high availability and load balancing for Linux systems. It is commonly used to ensure that network services remains accessible even if one or more servers fail. The role of KeepAlive D in this setup is crucial for maintaining high availability and ensuring seamless failover. During this video, we are going to see how we can configure KeepAlive D to create a virtual IB and health check for HA proxy and more. Without further ado, let's move to the terminal. I'm in terminal connected to the three nodes via SSH. In order to install KeepAlive D, we need to run this command sudo dnf install minus y to accept keep alive d package so let me just proceed with the first node and the same on the second node and on third node as well the keep alive d package installation is completed on three nodes now we can clear the screen once we have the keep alive d package is installed on three nodes we need now to configure keep alive d but before we proceed with the configuration, we need to create a backup file from the original configuration file, which is located in slash etc keepalivd keepalivd.com. Let me just make sure that this file is available. We can see here it's available here. Now let me clear the screen and create backup of this file on three nodes. To create a backup, I need to move the current keepalivd to something else and the same brackets on the second node and the same on third node let me clear the screen now we have done from creating a keep alive d configuration file backup now we need to collect information to be able to co to configure the keep alive d so those information are a network information so we can see here i have three nodes here and also i add for each node a section on notepad so I, what i need to do i need to do ib dash br which is brief a for address i need to get the interface name let's add it here and also we need to have the ib address which is this one i will take it with the subnet the same for here ib dash pr which is pa the same sometime the interface will be different from each other so this is crucial to have those things ib dash pr a the same yes and we need to add it here and the subnet and ib as well nice now we have the interface name and the ib address for each node let me clear the screen here and let's move to the visual studio code i am here on vs code we can see here in front of us we have the keep alive d configuration for the first node second node and third node i have added here the virtual ib address you need to make sure this ib address is not used for any network device with the same subnet this ib address will be used as a virtual ib in the vrrb instance configuration in keep alive d configuration side note here the virtual router redundancy protocol i will not explain it because it's a pure network so if you want to have more details i urge you to refer back to keep alive d and check the vrrb section there and try to get more information so i'm going to start with the first block which is this section this section is defines the script to check if a service which is a chair proxy is running or not so the script will run this command which is kill all dash zero ha proxy dash zero flag doesn't actually send a signal but returns zero if the process exists or one if it does not interval two the script runs every two seconds wait for if the script fails it will subtract four from the instance priority if the script succeeds it will add four to the priority this is important to influence master election that's it for this section let's move to the second block in this block we are defining the vrrb instance we can see here that we have, we have the instance name for vrrp called vi underscore bg1 the state of this instance is master 
we have two states backup and master interface we specify here the network interface to be used virtual router id and identifier for the vrrb group must be unique within the same network priority of the instance here we define the priority of the instance higher value means higher priority the default value or default priority for this is 100 unicast source ib here we specify the source ib address for unicast for example if i am working for the first node i need to add this ib in this section later on i will fill those information but here i need i want just to explain exactly what those are mean unicast peer this section we will fill a list of peers nodes ib addresses that participate in vrrp authentication here we need to add some security for this instance so we are using the authentication type as a password and the authentication password in order to connect this instance or the instance can be connected from different location we need to provide this password virtual ib address here we need to add this ib address and this ib address will be assigned to this instance track script we will use this script which is check under score HA proxy we have defined it here with those attributes that's it for the configuration let's start right now filling the configurations from the information that we already collected from our environment i will start with the first session here we need to add the network interface so the network interface will be enp 0 s 3 let's add it here regarding unicast source ib because i'm working for the first node here so we will add the ib here in this part unicast peer we need to add the node 2 and node 3 so let me copy this one which is the second node add it here tab v and the third node as well we reach to this section now virtual ib address here we will add the virtual ib that will be assigned for this virtual or vrrp instance i have this one which is ends with 20 with the same subnet so we'll copy it in this location for this part so let's summarize the state is master i have here the virtual router id is 51 for this uh, for this instance for the vrrp instance the priority for this node which is the first node i give it higher priority because it's master 102 the ib address or the source ib address for the first node is the same subnet which ends with 10 the second and third node Node should be added here and the virtual ib address should be added here now let's move to the second node keep alive d configurations the same thing here for the node 2 configuration so here is the node 2 we have this interface so we'll add this interface in this part you can see the virtual router id is 51 priority here i reduce it to 101 node will be a backup node regarding the unicast source ib we will give the ib of the second node We'll add it here regarding the unicast peer we will add the first node and the third node so let's do it fast here regarding the virtual ib address we will add only this one this should be the same on three nodes that's it let's move to the third node configurations in the third node we have the interface name this one and of course the state will be backup regarding this section is identical for the three nodes keep alive the configuration file so no change here the only change will be in the instance the priority it will be less priority than the second and and first node and regarding the unicast source ib we will take the node 3 ib address unicast peer we will use the first and second regarding the virtual ib we will take it as is and put it in this part so that's it for the keyboard ID configuration now we will take those configuration and add it for each node in our lab so let's move to the terminal i switch back to the terminal now we need to add those keyboard ID configuration to each node here so let me start with the first node let me zoom in and let me just start adding this configuration let me add the set paste and as well hit insert with i letter enable the insertion let me paste those configurations here you can see here that the configurations are correct let me just exit and save let me get etc keep alive d to make sure that those configuration are written here 
we can see here that everything is fine now let's move to the let's zoom out let me move to the second node like this vim etc keep live d keep live d dot conf set paste hit i and we need to add those are the second nodes keep alive d configurations and make sure that we are on the right the state will be backup right and the virtual router id is 51 that's correct priority is 101 the ip address is correct and everything is fine let's save and exit let's cut etc keep alive d and keep alive d dot conf yeah that's correct let's clear the screen and exit now let's zoom into the third node and do the same practice here then etc cable ID, cable ID. let's set paste and hit i to enable the insert mode let me paste and see here we have those cable id configuration for for the third node uh, let's review it quickly we can see here that the state is back up we have interface the correct show router id is 51 priority is 100 correct advert you're correct and yep password everything is fine so let's save and exit let's make sure that everything is yeah added and everything is fine now let's clear the screen and zoom out we have the keep alive d configuration now ready the next step is to enable and start the keep alive d service on three nodes so to do so we have this command sudo systemctl enable dash dash now keep alive d so let's hit this one and let's check let me zoom in systemctl status keep keep alive d service let's, let me clear the screen and zoom out now we need to do the same practice on the second node so let me zoom in and start and enable the service let me also check the CTL status keep alive the service you can see that's entering the backup state that means the second node is backup for the first node master receive advert which have higher priority nice so that means everything is fine let me clear the scan zoom out let's move to the third node and do the same we need to enable and start the keep alive d service let's check status keep alive d service you can see here also the same keep alive d entering the backup state the first node is higher priority than this node so the configurations are right now working fine now we can see that's the ib 10 10 220 is added for this node let's make sure that's also ib dash pra and ib dash pra so it's assigned only for the primary one let's see if we can bing this ib 10.10.200 dot 20 we managed to bring this ib from the second node let's see if we are able to do the same from the third node 10.10 10, 120 see also we are able to bring this ib address from the third node let me clear the screen now we need to make sure that we are able to access postgres using this ib so try to access from the second node using this connection string yeah i'm able to do that let me select using this command we can see here that the primary is first node let me now try to connect to the 5001 from the third node and uh, let me also select the ib address make sure that i'm able to access to the second node from the third node using this virtual ib so that is the keep alive d installation and configuration i hope you guys find it informative take care and i will see you all next time